What's up everybody? So we received a new update for Legends of Eidolon. So let's check it out and see what are the new features and classes that have been implemented. So the first feature that has been implemented is the 3D printer in the quick ref sl slot. Now you can actually use all your printing slots from the quick ref. So you don't need to go all the time to world 3 to actually click on these. So this is awesome. You will also receive the two first slots for free and you can buy the remaining three slots with gems. There are some new limited special edition items. He implemented three new hats, which is the Siege Captain Cap, which gives you 10% drop rate, the Cork Topper hat and the Paperback hat. You can also buy the new Swapper Stone. The Swapper Stone is the premium bonus Swapper. You can use it by putting two of your premium hats one on the left and one on the right and by holding the button you can actually change the skill that is on the head as you can see the 10% switch from the left to the right and I can do it all the time that I want so this is great stuff to make new premium hats for your characters another new feature is the construction quick ref you can go to your construction from the quick reference menu here you can interact with all of your towers in game you can also check your cogs and you can actually build the cogs so you don't have to leave from the screen that you are this will save you a lot of time instead of going all the way to world 3 or world 4 to get all these items back he also implemented the loot filter by going to the filter you can actually click which items do you want by clicking on the monsters that you're killing you can filter out which ones do you want you can put them like this and by clicking on them it will not drop these items whenever you are farming so you will only get items which you have not selected in the filter there are also some quality of life improvements in the quick wrap you can also see the icon view only this means that three, these three icons you will only be able to view what's in them but you will not be able to interact or build anything from them it's nice to see that you can actually see what the difference is between the few only and the skills that you can actually use. And now for the most awaited part, we introduce now the new Siege Breaker class. The Siege Breaker class has some nice skills which can also help you play actively. First skill is the Cannonball which does massive damage to all monsters around you. Second one is the Suppression Fire fires off a spread of 5 mini cannonballs that deal a certain amount of damage. Firebomb recklessly throw bombs around you which explode and hit up to 5 mod. The one you want to work on is the pirate flag. The pirate flag kills can spawn plunderous mobs which have 32 times more HP and give you 1530% XP and more drop rewards. This is also combined with the arch lord of the pirates which will increase your XP and your drop rate significantly by the power of 10 kills. As you can see mine is 1.93k and this is after doing 2 days of full kill so this kill doesn't really level up fast. So far I've seen that the, the map where I'm standing right now with the, the oranges is the one that has been giving me the most kills per minute as it's a flat surface. So if you are wanna try to farm this, try it on this map and if you have better updates or better news where you can do this please put them in the comment section below. Another thing that has been released is something that hasn't been talked about. But characters using the spear, which are not warriors anymore, will not get multiple damage on monsters. She will only hit one monster at a time when you're farming. So basically, using spear on other characters which are not warriors, it's not worth it anymore. So take that in consideration in your new builds. Overall, this update was really nice. Having a new class in some way to play actively different is also awesome. And the implementation of the new quick ref skills for all the other characters in all the other worlds is awesome that way you will save a lot of time instead of traveling to all the places to actually use them let me know in the comment section below what you think of this update thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys on the next one